Hi there, my name is Maitland Gillespie. I'm with uh, Snap-on Corporation and I'd like to show you a few features about the uh, Radial Force 2000. Thank you. To begin with, we have a electromechanical shaft which automatically locks the wheel assembly to the shaft. Once I've accomplished this, centered the wheel directly on the shaft as it's supposed to be centered on the vehicle. I just merely close the hood and let the machine do the work. So you'll see now it's actually scanning through the use of five laser scanners. It's just going to look for non-uniformity, balance and also maybe a possible mismount for a tire to rip. It takes approximately about one minute to do this. So with the diagnostic evaluation completed, we now have this screen which now gives us our radial force variation first harmonic. In other words, our high spot of the tire, which is approximately in this position. With regards to radial force variation today, it's very important that we have non-uniformity issues strictly adhered and corrected. Otherwise, with the uh, type of platform and sensitivity of these vehicles today, it's very important that we have a round and uniform assembly. Okay. Moving forward to the balance portion of the uh, unit, we have an automatic screen. So with the use of the five lasers, which has actually measured the contour of the rim, it now makes an evaluation and is telling me it requires two sticky weights. A position, which we can now see with regards to the... <laughs> if we wish to hide a weight behind one of the spokes, merely press the button, as we can see here, The dot is directly behind the spoke where we would place the weight. Thank you. Going back to our diagnostics and with regards to mismount. We have a full three-dimensional graphical view of this tire and wheel assembly. And it's noting here, as you can see on the screen, a possible depression which may need that the tire to rim is basically unmatched. So as the data fills the screen, we can den denote the color here as an arrow here, which is indicative of this mismount. So rotating the assembly, what we're looking for is a uniform blue around the tire which would give me the information that the tire is seated correctly to the bead. However, in this portion here, we can see the red, which is now indicative of a mismount. So this really, this wheel needs to be taken from here, put onto the tire machine, and appropriately deflated, inspected, so that we can create the correct bead seat for this assembly. So the machine now will give me the contour of the tread, the tread depth, etc. And also from 0 to 360, it will actually tell me if there's any flat spots on this assembly. 
And as we can see here, we have a blue shaded area, which is now indicative of a flat spot, which is in this general direction here on the assembly.